What is good, everybody? I am Kirby Wan, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Dawn of War 2. The last time we were here, uh, we did the mission. Uh, fuck, whatever it was called. I don't remember. Typhon Primaris. Whatever the mission was it called. We. Uh, oh, right here. Remains of the Dark Age. That's the mission we call it. it was called. We uh, located the astronomic array and um, basically fought our way towards it through orcs and Tyranid alike. Um, the orcs were there trying to, you know, scavenge parts off of it, salvage parts off of it. Um, so we had to deal with them to steal the parts back and uh, repair the astronomic array and uh, be able for it to work. And then while we were at it, since we were there, we also took out uh, another Lictor. Um, just because he killed one of our Blood Raven brothers. So we were like, fuck it, let's take him out too. And um, yeah, we got the Astronomic Array under our control. And it has located the main fleet, or the main hive fleet. Um, or hive ship that uh, is controlling the hive. So with that step out of the way, we have the biotoxin as well. So our last is to actually make a weapon that will be able to uh, attack said said fleet, said ship, um, and defeat the Tyranids for good. Just defeat the center of the hive, then the rest of the hive falls. So anyways, today I think we're going to do this mission here, Tyranid mission. It's optional, but might as well just boot these Tyranids off. Well, we can, because you know what did happen? We did so well in that mission that we freaking got two extra deployments on day 17. So that was pretty, pretty, it was pretty freaking awesome. A baller move, one might say. Boss move, one might also say. Either way, we got some extra deployments, so I'm going <laughs> to waste them and not advance the story. We're going to do this optional mission, and then we're going to go to Calderas and do a defense mission on one of our arrays. And then with all the little shit kind of cleared out of the way, who knows more shit might pop up after a day passes in game time. But with those two missions out of the way, then I will head to Meridian to deal with the Eldar. Commander, the Tyranid Swarm continues to strike at vulnerable targets. A powerful Tyranid warrior has led its brood into shelters and other areas previously thought safe. Is that the right? God damn it. Have been disastrous. Worse still, this outbreak, if not stamped out quickly, could destabilize the oh, entire Eliminate this beast quickly to keep our holdings secure and drive the swarm back. You got it, Gabriel. Angelos Gabriel? Gabriel Angelos. Either way, those are his two names. So we need to locate, destroy the Tyranid Nests, destroy the Tyranid Warrior. Several enemy camps located on the map. Reduces infestation by two. Synaptic generators enhance nearby two Tyranid enemies. Enemy structures are vulnerable to demolition charges and other explosives. Uh, not this screen. I wanted this screen. I'm going to bring Cyrus along. Because he's got demo stuff. He's got vehicle demolitions and basically everything demolition. Um, man, they don't even know how to like remotely detonate shit like I feel like that's something that they should know they have fucking snipers and you know flamethrowers flamers plasma guns but they're if you read the description they're mysteriously uh, questioning how remote detonation works like shouldn't you fucking know how to do things remotely anyways sidetrack aside Cyrus leveled up after last mission, so he's now got the ability to use accessories while remaining infiltrated. So he's like one level above um, where he was. He's going to be fucking insane now because he can just sneak in, bomb shit, sneak out, 
no one's the wiser till they're fucking blown up dead. Look, he's even right here, helping us out. And there's Tarkus's squad. Avatus squad. Me. Uh, choosing war gear, take a look at benefits, beyond level raw damage, fighting mass enemies, for example, high damage sniper, power fist, won't be as effective as fast fighting. Faster hitting bolter chainsword, weapons that do knock back or stun opponents may also be more effective than the raw damage would suggest. Yeah, I look at all the bonuses and the whatnot and the who, hoot nanny and side effects and side bonuses and... To the fears of the masses now? No, we fight the enemy wherever he hides. Be wary of ambushes. And oh fuck! Advance on the enemy, brothers. Devastators under enemy attack. Oh shit! All right then. Um, Tarkus here too leveled up he got some uh he's got some upgraded guys backing him up basically is what uh is what he got so like his guys i don't know if you've been paying attention but they're not in like the full red armor now they got like this white armor on them so they're like veteran soldiers rather than just the typical uh the typical uh blood ravens he's used to having back him up maybe we should help these guys out Blew that sky high, how about? What's this one? This is a hive. Infantry. Set this here now, or what? You're gonna fucking run out of infiltration. That's great. Love that for you. Should just do fucking artillery strike that shit. Or not. Fucking set a charge on this now. There we go. Now let's make out, make out a dare and fucking blow it up. Kablooey. And didn't fucking blow up all the way. That's okay. Get Avatis up there. Fucking artillery strike. Hopefully hits both of those. Blew that up anyways. Did that pretty well too. Fuck. 
Nice. to work combat weapons. Guess we'll head this way and see what's happening. Over here. They're attacking this pod. Let them have it. Fuck if I care. Like you just such a fucking. Ready to detonate, Commander. Engaging camouflage jump. You know, beast. Now that he can just do this. Another lictor. Another couple lictors. This up here with the frickin' artillery strike. Just set one up here. Good. Get to that position, charges set. So I'll get the frick out of here. Troops down here and take out this little thing that's probably still standing. Ready your belt. The security is not here. Oh, fuck. Fucking Carnifex. Jesus Christ. Here's my mouse. This guy out of our way, yeah. And the rest of the guys should fall down easy. Alright. Let's go heal up. 
can then move on to one of our final targets. March on down this way, see what's at this circle. Maybe the other nest. And then the warriors at this point. Guess we'll find out, won't we? Won't we? Our fortifications are under assault. Some supply crates there. Oh well, might have to go in with little supplies which is not ideal there it is. oh that's the warrior oh he's right there holy oh, fuck Let's get the fuck out of here you can fight the ravener Jeepers. It's quite a mess. Oh, fucking Avatus is gonna die. Fuck, his shield wore off. Not cool. Go destroy this last nest then and get the hell out of here, I guess. Should I, don't I? Yeah, yeah, I've heard it all before. Oh, fuck. Are there Carnifex down here? Why, though, did he get spotted? Around this way. Facing the focus. Our fortifications are under assault. Placing explosives. Can you not waste your infiltrate and just fucking place the bomb down? Like fuck. Why are you retarded in doing this? There we go, Jesus. Took you long enough to settle on a fucking spot. Now you're never gonna make it out of here. Turn away this way, I guess. Shit supplies, we could use those. Do it? No. Not quite. On the attack. But you know what we can do. Are already here. We cannot delay. It's just once he has infiltrate up high enough. Very well. Now that we got some supplies, let's just put another bomb down. My adjustments are put back. down. Nope. 
another. Yeah, 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 I don't think they can actually fucking destroy that. There's no health bar on it. Run away, Cyrus, run away. And blow it up. Battle one. Those who fear death can emerge from beneath their beds now. Perfect. Mission accomplished. doesn't don't need to perform well anymore because fucking got my uh chapter records and these look to be the same tyranids the ultramarines defeated on tarsus oh. they may very well be from that high fleet thaddeus this is what makes the tyranids so deadly only a few hive ships need to escape a battle for oh. the hive fleet to survive these few ships will go on to devour a few poorly defended worlds this provides the biomass needed to replenish the Hive Fleet and make it even larger given enough time. Every Hive Fleet we have encountered Fair has enough. the potential to topple the Imperium, and each one has the potential to spawn any number of splinter fleets if they escape to weaker sectors. Mark my words, Thaddeus. The Imperium has no shortage of deadly enemies, but they all pale in comparison to the Tyranids. Well, that's a... Uh... Sobering thought, I guess. Thaddeus almost has his thing maxed out, his melee tree. Taking a large amount of damage, Thaddeus can enter a reckless stage, stretching his abilities to their limits. During this time, ability costs no energy, have no recharge. Ooh, that's pretty neat. It's almost as strong as Thule. Anywho, we got it. We did the optional mission. We got her done. Now we'll head to Calderas with our remaining deployment of the day. And we'll uh, be able to do that next time. Complete it. Defend this array from being taken down. And after that, we'll head to Meridian finally and resume the mission there. So, that is going to do it for today, guys. I would like to thank you so much for tuning in. To friggin' smack that subscribe button, as it really helps out the channel, and I do really appreciate it. And, as we say up in Canada, peace out.